Skip counting lets you count by multiples of two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or even more. It's a great way to learn to multiply numbers together. Let's give it a try. Let's do skip counting by fives. It means you only count every fifth number. Watch me do it. You'll hear me bounce five times, but I only count every fifth number I land on. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. Forty. Forty-five. Fifty. Let's do it again. This time, I'll count the bounces, and you count the number I land on after the fifth bounce. Remember to keep silent after the first four bounces, because we're skipping those numbers. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. You can do skip counting yourself with a pen and a piece of paper. You can draw arrows to represent the bounces and circle every fifth number. Let's use skip counting by fives to count the number of balloons that cross the dotted line. Remember only to call out the number of every fifth balloon that crosses the line. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Let's do it one more time without numbers on the balloons. Count them off in groups of five as they cross the dotted line. Five, ten, fifteen. Twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, 
50. If you can do skip counting, it makes learning the times tables easier. Skip counting by fives and the five times table both involve counting in multiples of five. Five times one is five. Five times two is ten. Five times three is fifteen. Five times four is twenty. Five times five is twenty-five. Five times six is thirty. Five times seven is thirty-five. Five times eight is forty. Five times nine is forty-five. Five times ten is fifty. Five times eleven is fifty-five. Five times twelve is sixty.